make one pair of bikinis would be so nice in the beaches in Barcelona. Can I just ask, where are you packing for? So I went last summer to Barcelona for five days and it was so much fun you can imagine. This dress. Yeah, I just got back from abroad. Yeah, I studied in Italy and I went everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna live in Paris forever. Maybe also this one. And I love it so much, I decided to move it there. I'm just not sure which heels should I take. I mean, any of them is fine. You need more comfortable shoes for college. And <laughs> You're just killing the vibe. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we'll talk about living and studying abroad and I will share with you the 10 things that I wish someone had told me before I decided to live and study abroad. I have been living and studying in Milan for three and a half years and after that I decided to move to London and I have been here for almost two years. So in total I have been living abroad for five years now my god seems crazy and I just wish someone had told me before I moved abroad because this would really save me so many headaches and also I really hope that this inspires some of you to move and study abroad and just follow your dream Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video because I'm planning to make a whole series about living and studying abroad. First, it's not always parties and fun. And don't get me wrong, there's still many parties and lots of fun. Especially the first month. But after that, you kind of also get broke and you realize that some nights it's also okay if you stay in your room and you just like drink tea and do something more chill. Number two, at some point you will have to choose between paying the bills and going out. And you know how in high school your parents give you pocket money and they're just all for you to spend? Here comes the money! Here we go! Maybe they're not so much, but you can spend them all on food, on clothes, on parties, whatever you want. And I thought it's gonna be the same with the money that I get uh, during college, but you know what? It turns out that there are so many other things that you have to pay. Like, who knew that you have to pay for detergent, bills, taxes? I didn't sign up for that. Oh, so exciting! There is a letter for me! Maybe someone decided to write me a letter saying how much they miss me. Um, just wait for it. Oh, that's so sweet! Wait, City of Westminster? Council tax? Oh my god, it's 700 pounds! No, 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 this can be true. Number three, there will be times when no matter how much they want, your parents won't be able to help you. Every country has its uh, specific laws, regulations, and just a specific way in which it works, and your parents won't necessarily know all those things. For example, when I moved to Italy, I needed Codice Fiscale, it's like this Fisco code, which we don't have in Bulgaria. So my parents like had no idea, first of all, what is that or how can I get it? So you kind of have to figure those things out on your own. And the biggest tip that I can give to you is to be very nice and close to your friends from this country because they will be actually the ones that will be able to help you in all those situations. And obviously, please don't use your friends just for that. Four, you will grow a lot faster than you ever wanted to and trust me i really wanted to stay this uh, a little bit naive girl that is just going from one bar to the other <laughs> facing all those situations really makes you grow yeah a bride like changes you you will definitely do it a lot faster than if you were staying in your own country notebook computer Shoes. 
Fine, maybe I also need some shoes for uni. Um, I told you! Five. Sometimes you will be awkward and out of place, but that's totally okay. When I moved to Italy, in the beginning I was hearing all those discussions about the north and the south and Rome and Milan and it seemed to me like this super big fuss for no reason even though now I see that it's not but of course I never said anything I was just there listening and observing taking notes and maybe here and there like asking kind of neutral questions and all those things really helped me understand the culture of people their background six get ready to be stereotyped and it doesn't even matter from which country you are at some point you will always hear some stereotype and generalization about your country oh my god sometimes it has really hurt me people considering that all eastern europe countries are the same or hearing questions like oh you're from bulgaria so um last year i went to poland i'm like Okay, so what are you trying to say? Do you even know how far are those two countries? No, it's false. We take uh, five, uh, five shower a day. Oh, oh no, no, no I take two shower a day. Better the man. I take two shower a day. Do you drink vodka for breakfast? Do you know any gangsters? You are stealing our jobs, mate. Bulgaria. What part of Russia is that? Oh, it's. Not. You people can't handle your booze. You're so cute and small. Cheng Chang Chong. Can you do Kung Fu? <laughs> Just take it with a pinch of salt and always remember that you're different. Seven. You start missing things from your family and from your country that you used to hate oh my god if you just know how much i hated going to the mountains with my parents or like going to all those endless road trips in the weekends instead of staying with my friends and actually now if i start missing something it's usually exactly those things or hey speaking the language doesn't mean understanding the habits and culture of people and this means that there will be for sure a cultural shock at some point. When I first moved to Italy, I didn't know more than 20 words in Italian. Uh, can we get some salami and... Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Ah, uh, scusi, babbada boopi? Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Babbada boopi? Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. It was easier for me to understand locals in like cultural level and why they do certain things. And instead, when I came to London, I spoke way better English than my Italian ever was. But it is still actually harder for me to understand the habits of British people just because my culture and background is so different that it's taking me a lot longer to get used to it. Hi grandma, how are you? I'm good, just having some tea. No, I'm, I'm not sick, why? So weird, she thinks that I'm sick just because I'm having tea. <laughs> Nine, the honeymoon phase with the city wears off faster than you can imagine. Actually, I think this happened to me more in London than in Italy. In the beginning, I was so excited. Every day I wanted to go to see Big Ben, to see some galleries and exhibitions, and to go to the Buckingham Palace, and then to Hyde Park. I was so excited the first month. And after that, you get into your own routine, you start going to uni, or you start going to work, and all of a sudden you just start hating the crowds at least in london but no matter what uh, the city you're moving to is it will still happen the same just because visiting a city it's very different from actually living in it lastly i promise you you will change and i'm sure it's going to be for good because meeting so many new people picking up another language, getting to know different cultures, different habits, and just being exposed to such a different reality from your own 
changes you. I just feel like I'm like supposed to be from abroad. Totally. And for the longer you live abroad, the more you will change. And honestly, if someone had told me five years ago that I would start a YouTube channel, I would just laugh at them. I was so shy. I never even wanted to raise my hand in high school just because I was so afraid of speaking in front of people. And look at me now. So you will definitely change. And let me know in the comments down below to which country would you like to move. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more videos like that. Bye guys!